I suppose the big one for me is um, the fact that this Moo Monitor is not just doing breeding season, that it's working all year round. Like if I see a sick cow today, the Moo Monitor is actually detecting that cow yesterday evening, telling them that the cow didn't eat or she's resting too much. So I'm saying if I can catch a sick cow 12 hours sooner, there's a saving for us straight away if we can save a cow or you know, treat her before she gets too sick. Look, we're trying to be more efficient. We're trying to milk more cows. We're trying to do it with the step with the staff we have. We've one full-time herds person and myself, and you know we can only divide our time so much. So the the more cows you have, the less time you get to spend even looking at a cow. So yeah, we depend on we will depend on on it for that. In the last two or three years, converted the herd to 100% spring calving. So I suppose the important thing for us at the moment in the in the system we're in is to get as, the, as high a percentage of the herd as we can calving in spring. We're trying to get to 80, 85 if we can. That's what's critical for us in this system. The heat detection here is um, obviously, it, it's one of the more important jobs that needs to be done in this farm. Um, it's very, very labor intensive, twice a day, every day, for the length of the ice season, which is usually five to six weeks. And that, that's, a, that's a big draw on labor. And then there's such a high percentage of heats are between six in the evening and six in the morning. You know, you're, you're busy calving for 10, 12 weeks and time to rest and then it's time to go again, you know? And um, yeah, it, 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 it's a, a big consumer of, of my time. I knew Dairy Master had a, a Moo Monitor system and I definitely was interested in, in looking at it and any of the guys I spoke to were really, really happy with it. Tail painting was no more. Some of the guys I spoke to, they were their home and their farm were 10 miles apart and they were solely relied on the, on the Dairy Master system and the Moo Monitor and guys were really, really happy with it. And when we're detecting heats by ourselves, you may not always be AIing at the correct time. You may, you may be 12 hours too late or you could be 12 hours too early. The app seems to be picking up the the time the cow starts her heat and, and it's it's flagging her for drafting when the time is, is more suitable for AI, for AI. And there's there's definitely a saving there from a point of view of obviously getting the, the cow in calf. It's easier to detect a sick cow milking, but dry cows, you know, you, that you're not handling them every day. You may not see a sick cow. So, yeah, we'll depend on it for that as well. If I can get 10% of my cows to calf sooner, do you know what I mean? If I can change 70% to 80% in six weeks, that will, pay for 50% of this. Obviously that's not covering the cost of what I'm saying, that, that's 50% in a year. After six weeks of AI on, on, on our farm, we introduce stock bulls. There's a safety issue with, with having bulls, you know, it makes diff milkings quite difficult. And there is a danger aspect to it. So my expectation is, I hope not to use stock bulls this year, and just AI. And after that then, like you have time savings, you have, look, if I can save even one cow, that's another 12 or 1400 euros.